Hello YouTube! I am going to do a video that has been requested a couple of times. Um, a few people have asked to uh, see my mold collection that I use for resin. Um, so I thought I would just do a quick video showing off the molds that I use. Um, and I apologize that most of them are dirty and have glitter all over them. I am really bad at cleaning them when I'm done. I only clean them when it's time for me to use them again. So um, there are two main kinds of molds that I use. I use the hard, um, like flexible plastic that's designed for resin. Um, so those are the ones I'm going to show first. So here's this one. It's just kind of a varied jewelry shape mold. Um, and I mostly just got this one for these two because they're the perfect size for like the um, cameo frames that I use. And they're nice and deep. So these are ones that I used for like my Ursula pendants because um, you can fit something quite large down in there. And they fit perfectly as long as you don't fill them all the way to the top. Um, then they fit perfectly inside those cameo frames. So those are nice. And then I have this one that's the really cute bow mold. And then this it quote unquote fits in here. It doesn't. It doesn't fit in there. Um, but it does fit in my other molds and it's nice. It's not quite as deep as the other ones, but it's got a nice high dome on it. So that's nice. Um, and most of these hard plastic ones have come from uh, Molded from Love. Uh, the multiple one I just showed didn't, and there's one other one that didn't, but um, the rest of them did. So there's that one. This one's cute. It's library books. Um, there were actually three on this mold. I just cut one of them off. Um, these are okay. They're not great, but I've used them a couple of times. So, And then some of these are like extras that I got when I ordered from Molded from Love because she always throws extras in there. So there's this uh, Christmas light one, and hopefully I'll get a chance to do some cute Christmas necklaces with that because I think that's a really nice one. Um, it's big enough that you could get some designs in there. So yeah. And there's this pair of wings. So there's like a feather wing set and kind of a bat wing, fairy wing sort of thing. Um, I really liked the details on the feathers in this set. The only problem I have with it is that, I don't know how well you can see this, this one is a lot deeper than this one. So if you actually want a pair of wings, they don't quite match. And then I have some candy pieces. This one's got a couple different sizes. And then this one. This one's actually my favorite because it's got the most detail um, in the twist. So these are ones I use a lot when I just have extra resin floating around. After I've poured something, I make a lot of candy pieces. And there's a couple more here. There's this little gingerbread man. I've never used him, but he's cute. And this kind of heart cookie or pudding sort of thing. It's got a really interesting texture on it. You can see it's got a lot of texture, so that's kind of fun. I'm not really big into pieces like this that are, um, you know, have a lot of detail to them. So you'd really just be kind of filling and then either painting or what have you. I prefer things that I can put images in, um, but this was a nice little extra. And then the last of the hard, flexible plastic molds that I have is my tile mold here. Um, I've showed this in another video. I really like this mold. It's very sturdy. It's a great size for a nice big tile. Um, sits very flat. Very easy to get the piece out of. So I love this one. So those are all of those. And then I have my um, silicone molds, which is most of what I use. So... Um, and so some of these are all like cut up into pieces, so sorry about that. This is the sheet. I'm sure some of you guys have got this one or seen this one. It's just a sheet that came with a lot of different shapes. It said love across the bottom. Um, so I've already <laughs> kind of cut this one up and used a lot of the pieces, but I really like the hearts. Kind of this cookie shape it's nice. Oh, look, there's resin on there. Um, and these are nice because they're actually kind of shiny on the inside already. So I dome all of my pieces when I'm done anyway, but you don't necessarily have to if they're shiny on the inside already. So there's that. Um, 
here's some more pieces from that sheet. Stars, flowers, leaves. Here's some more pieces from that. There's the V and the E of love. Some of these are nice because they're just little pieces. And again, these are great to use when I've got extra resin just kind of lying around. Um, I have these apples that I've never used. Uh, yeah, never used them. Now these long skinny ones that I've also never used because I can't quite decide what I would do with them. Um, here's another piece cut out from that mold. Uh, I have a couple of these squares. So this one, um, I cut it down because it was so deep that it was hard to get glitter in without pouring it onto the one next to it. Um, so that's why I cut this one down in size so it looks kind of jank. But it's just these big squares. Um, and it is shiny on the inside and it's got kind of rounded corners which is nice so um, and I think these are a really great size and then I have a smaller version of that one as well um, that I haven't used this one yet but these are almost like one inch squares and again they are shiny on the inside these just came from my grocery store and I got them on clearance for 99 cents. So, yeah. Super flexible, too. And then I have some stars. I love this mold. I think it's a really great size. I use this one a lot. This is one of the newer ones I have. Um, that's like a square cupcake mold. But it's a nice size, it makes good like magnet size pieces, and again, um, this one is already shiny on the inside. I try and find pieces that are either already shiny or they're very flat, so they're easier to dome, but I don't always get that lucky. Um, here's just a really small cupcake mold, so it's kind of bottle cap size, and I've been having a lot of fun with this one. I have a few of those. Here are some guitars. This was an ice cube mold. I'm not crazy about it. The only things I've made with it have been not great, but it's fun. This is a big circle. Um, as you can see, it's about two inches, two and a half inches big. So this is good for magnets. I use this one a lot. Came in a you know set of six, so I have a bunch of those. Same thing with this square one. Again, it's like about a two inch square, so I use this for magnets as well. Um, this one is like really sturdy. It's nice because the walls are nice and thick. So once you've um, poured your resin in, if you need to move it around and stuff, you don't have to worry about the sides flexing. Um, and this was also in a set of six, so I have a bunch of those. And I have this cupcake mold. I think the cupcakes that come out of here are super cute. I use this one a lot. Bunny rabbits. Hello bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. This is another leftover resin that I use a lot. Because I just, you know, my bunnies. And this is one of the molds that I use all the time. It's this nice oval. Um, I have a bunch of these because it came in a sheet of like 12 or 16 or whatever, a ton. So I have a ton of those. And then, oh, here's a tiny little heart that was cut out from that sheet. It's like the size of my nail. So cute. I have my skull and bones mold. This is half of the mold. I love this one. Yeah. Um, and then this one is another one that I use all the time. It's these like scalloped cupcake hearts. Um, I think they're a really nice size and I love the detailing of the scallop around the edge. Um, so I use this one a lot and I have a ton of these. And then I have this one. Um, this I think is one of the Wilton molds. Um, 
and I don't actually use this one much because it's got these rounded edges. Uh, it's really hard to dome pieces that come out of this because it is textured on the inside so you do need to glaze or dome them and I just don't have much luck with that for some reason. It never comes out very well so but I have a lot of them. Here's a couple more that were cut out from that big sheet. I like this heart. It's a good size. Here's a slightly smaller one. Circle because, you know, circle. Um, and then I have this snowflake mold that I really like the idea of, but it's just a really cheap, crappy ice cube tray from Target. And so it's got, you can't really see, but it's got like this ring in the inside, and it doesn't lay flat at all, so everything comes out kind of funky. But, yeah. And then here's a tree that was from that same set. Um, this one's a little flatter, but you can see it's really like curved and it's hard to get it to lay flat so your pieces are just kind of funky. Um, and then lastly I have a few molds that I made with the amazing mold putty. And I have a few more tiny little ones that I've used for various projects but um, here's a couple. So here's a uh, Monster High Skelet. It's not great. The eye got a little bit weird. I've used this a couple of times and it's sort of getting toward the end of its life. That's the problem with these molds is that after a while they just really start to break down and things don't come out as clean and it's really hard to get the resin, I mean the glitter out of there to clean them and reuse them. Um, so I might need to make another one of those. And then this one is a little Hamtaro. I've only used this one once. I did this as a project for a friend of mine. Oh, scary Hamtaro. It came out okay. And then the last one I have is this Hello Kitty one. That I think this one came out pretty well. I've made a couple of pieces with this and it usually comes out okay. It's nice because it's got this deep center part and then this background layer you can pour into separate pieces. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's my mold collection. It's nothing fancy, but since a couple of people asked, I thought I would share. Um, hopefully I'm going to be working on some more resin this afternoon. I'm sort of working on Halloween pieces and hopefully I will have something new to show you guys soon. Thanks for watching.